Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. And today, as you can see, we have four, two fresh faces. Actually, yes, two fresh faces and two very familiar participants. In fact, one of them to my extreme right, Ron Thomas. You may have met Ron several times before, but I'm going to have Ron introduce himself one more time because we always have new viewers. So, Ron? Yeah, I haven't really been talking about my show. Uh, producer here, Big Talk, uh, a one hour show. Actually, actually comes on the same time this show comes on. Oops, so you have to make <laughs> an Thursday, executive decision. But every I come Thursday. on at one o'clock. Okay, so one day a week you have to make a decision. And it's okay, Ron, you're a good friend and you love stretching here, so I'm going to have my viewers come on your show every Thursday and should watch your show. Not to worry, for those of you who think you're going to miss our Thursday episodes because you want to watch Ron's show, not a problem. We, every now and then, we do repeat our episodes. So, Ron, thank you so much for coming back. And I'm assuming that even though every now and then you may be in pain, it's a kind of a happy pain, right? Because you're back. I'm rehabbing. <laughs> Say again? I'm rehabbing. Rehabbing. What is that? Rehabilitating. Oh, rehabilitating yourself. But you're happy coming back, right? You don't yeah. mind trying it out. Yeah. I live with the pain, so... It's hey, Ron, I've got your signature, so... Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad, but thank you so much for coming back. To Ron's left and my immediate right, we have Lucy Spain. Lucy, welcome to the show. We thank have not you. had you on air at all before. No, it's my first How's time. How's that? How's that? How come we haven't... Well, I didn't have the luck have of finding out about it until now, but now I'm here and hopefully I'll be back. Good. Tell our viewers and us a little bit about yourself. We never had a chance to talk before we started today, so tell us a little bit. You have about 30, 40 seconds. That's a long time. Okay. <laughs> well, I am 26 years old. I'm an actress, and I work in public relations right. for a couple of theater companies here in the city. Nice. I love to do yoga. I've been doing it for over 10 years, all different kinds. My favorite is Bikram, and I do that probably about three or four times a week, right. and it's completely changed my life, mentally and physically. Nice. We try on this program, Lucy, we try our best not to attach ourselves to any particular style of yoga, and you'll find out after today. And the reason for that is Yoga Express, this program itself believes that all yoga is about spinal health, and spinal health begins with stretching. So we don't chant too much. If we do, you, if we do ever chant the word, the syllable, trisyllabic word, om, mm -hmm. it's really to show how the oxygen moves from the lower abdomen to the chest to the head region, just to show from a health perspective what stretching can do for us. So it's really uh, good that you've already had some introduction to yoga. That's wonderful. What we do here is very basic. You're probably accustomed to intermediate and possibly even advanced level postures. Our holding times are much longer mm -hmm. in this show because we're doing it not for us, not as a classroom, more for our viewers. And everything that I'm telling you is also for our viewers, really. So I'm sharing it with them at the same time. But just so you know what to expect, the holding times are longer, even though the postures are simpler. So hopefully, we'll get a workout as well. Yeah. And maybe in the next uh, couple of episodes, we hope you'll be back with us. The next couple of episodes, we'll have you tell us a little more about you. Maybe there's a second or third dimension to you, some secret riding history, secret racing car history. I don't know. Whatever you have, you can tell us a little more next time. Great. It's lovely to have you on the Thank show, you. Lucy. Michelle Lorelli. Michelle, you've been on a show at least five times before. I think uh, yeah. the last five episodes. Mm -hmm. Michelle is a yoga teacher in training, and very soon she has promised to come and teach on air. We're looking yes, forward absolutely. to it, Michelle. And you looked amazing, and I think you also felt Good, because you, you, I could tell when I was watching the past programs that you were enjoying what you were doing. So Absolutely. Anything else yeah. you want to share with us and our viewers? 
I, I just find that um, yoga is something that um, for all ages, everyone can do it. Um, there should be no fear attached to any of it. Right. Um, and it's, it's non-competitive. You do what you can do for that day. That's right. And you just become more in tune with yourself. Whether it becomes, you know, with your decisions of what to eat today or how to react to a situation, you'll find that it affects your whole life if you right. give it that time and just avoid the fear. Just right. jump right. into it and just do it. Well, welcome back to the show, Michelle. It's Thank always a pleasure it. to have someone back who really enjoys it and it shows in your, in your movements and on your face, too. So welcome back. Thank you. Marlon Haywood. Marlon. You are a fresh face to our show, so welcome to the show, and I'm going to have you say a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. <clears throat> well, um, I'm from uh, Detroit, Michigan. Um, you came all the way here today so, just for this? Uh, yes, I did. I wore my... Oh, we love you, Detroit, Marlon. Michigan. Are you sure? You did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, been here in New York for about three years now. Uh, I'm a model actor. I'm currently working at Alessi um, as a sales associate, and I often find doing yoga um, centering, uh, physically, mentally. Uh, like uh, Michelle said, it's your own uh, practice. Right. So there is no competition. Exactly. Um, we go and we do it at every different level, so I enjoy. You're right. We're all at different uh, levels, that's the word to use. And Michelle, you too, we're all competing with ourselves, not with exactly. anyone else. We all try to do a little better every day. Yeah. So, Marlon, you've also been practicing yoga for a while, right? Quite I've a while. been practicing yoga for, I believe, a year and a half now, maybe almost two years. And uh, you practice in Central Park? Yes, I practice in Central you Park. You want to watch Marlon in Central Park? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, practice um, yoga to the people right. as well. Uh, and then if I find time, I'll just do it at home as well. That used to be our tagline before taking yoga to the people, and I found out there was a school that was called that way, so I said, no, it wouldn't be right to them. Yeah. We kept that. But that's, that's good. Again, like I told Lucy, too, I know different schools have different approaches to these mm -hmm. postures, and they have their own styles. Um, other than yoga itself, what we believe that yoga itself is all about spinal health, spinal health begins with stretching, we also want to share with our viewers that there really are only two styles of yoga, which we talked about in the last couple of episodes. There's Hatha Yoga and there's Ashtanga Yoga. Again, it's more to tell our viewers about it, but I'm sharing it with us here again. And uh, a lot of the times when we say we talk about a certain style, yoga to the people or uh, Bikram yoga, we're talking about the masters. We're following certain masters. So you have Iyengar. Iyengar would use, uh, they're very particular about alignment, so they'd use a lot of props. Uh, Bikram would use heat. So different schools have different approaches, but those really are not traditionally what you would call styles. What we're really saying is they're different masters. Another myth we have been trying to break for a very long time is that yoga is just for girls. And I'm so glad we have Ron and you to debunk that myth. So folks out there, if there are if you have brothers and you have fathers, your father, your brother, your boyfriend, your bitter half, better half, whatever, please Tell them, it's, yoga is not just for girls. In fact, the greatest masters were men, the greatest yoga masters. Having said that, what we're going to take our viewers through today in just a moment is actually st all the standing postures which will transition one after the other. John, is it possible to get that uh, monitor on, please? I don't know how to do that. I, I don't either. I'm sorry. Oh, OK. If you could just let Roberto know. Yeah, I... Thank you. That's OK. No problem. What we're going to do is start with standing postures in today's episode. And once we take you through today, tomorrow we'll do seated, and the day after we'll do prone and supine. We're going to try and do progressively. We're going to take you through 48 stretches. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35 at 1.30 in the afternoons. That's Monday through Friday, 1.30 Eastern Time, New York Time. And on Thursdays, we are on at the same time as Ron Thomas. So if you come on the show, we give you a lot of support. We give you my third title, Yoga Secrets, a postcard and a fridge magnet, plus a sun salutation poster. If you don't come on the show, you still have the benefit of watching us and stretching with us. You can go to our website, www.yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. We're all going to stand up. 
Before we start stretching, though, I'd like to thank our director, Josie Ann Hurd, and our facilitator, Roberto Espinel, for these amazing setups, the sound and the visual setup right here, the sound and the lighting. And Josie Ann, thank you for pinch hitting for us one more time. Thanks for making this episode happen. I'm the shortest, so I guess I'll have to go forward this time. We're going to start with some standing stretches. Heels together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest. Keep your fingers nicely splayed. Have your thumb, thumbs pointing towards your chest. Keep your elbows up. When your elbows are raised, remember, we always like to remind you, when your elbows are raised, your mind stays in the moment. You flop your elbows. You can still do your stretches, but your mind starts wandering. So let's keep our elbows raised. Inhale, hasta uttana, arms raised. Inhale, take your arms all the way overhead. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Tilt your pelvis forward just a little bit. Exhale, fold from the hip, pada hasta. Now inhale, pada hasta is hands to feet. Hasta is hands, pada is feet. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing in. Exhale, bend your knees. Think you're sitting in an imaginary chair. So even though only Ron has a chair next to him, the rest of us are going to pretend we have a chair behind us. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. Let's turn to the right. Let's all turn to the right of the studio. Bring your legs out about three feet apart. Now put your brakes on. So bring your toes in the first time that you get your legs all the way out. Bring your toes in. Make sure your feet are nice and firm on the mat. And then turn your right foot out. So you want to make sure that the heel of your right foot is at a T with the inside of your left foot. Now make sure that your upper body is still facing the side of the studio. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Lean a little bit to the right. And then exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Left arm goes all the way up, both palms face forward. Trikon asan. Trikon. Three is three. Kon is corner. Trikon. Literally three corners or triangle. You should feel a delicious stretch in your adductor muscles, the inside of your upper right thigh. Inhale. Let's come up. Bring your arms up to shoulder height. Palms are still facing down. Turn your right foot in. Turn the left foot out. Look to the left. Look at the tip of your fingers in the left hand. Lean a little bit to the left. Exhale, dip your left hand in front of the left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. Now I'm going to wiggle my left foot further, so that'll help bring my left hand deeper, a little closer to the floor. Look up at the raised arm. Very nice, Lucy. Looks like your practice is really paying off right here. That's good. Very nice. Inhale, let's come up. Now keep your left foot out the way it is. Exhale. And I can see that Marlon is anticipating the next posture. Exhale, bend your left leg at the knee. So you want to make sure that your thigh is as parallel, the bottom of your thigh is as parallel to the floor as possible. Veera Bhadra. Veera is brave. Bhadra is soldier or warrior. Now we're going to take this one step further. Veera Bhadra Kona, warrior angle. Exhale, dip your left hand in front of the left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. And then to challenge ourselves just a little more, take your right arm all the way overhead, palms facing down. Look up at the tip of your fingers on the right hand. Inhale, let's come up. Straighten your left leg. Turn your left foot in. Turn the right foot out. Look at the tip of your fingers on the right hand. <clears throat> Exhale, bend your right leg at the knee. If you hear any pops and crackles, that's, those are not Rice Krispies. Those are air pockets in our knees, in my knees anyway. I heard that. Exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Left arm goes all the way up. Both palms face forward. Look up at the raised arm and hold. When we say hold, it's always hold your posture, not your breath. Keep exhaling. Take the left arm all the way overhead. And please hold it right there. Those of you who are already in position, I just want to point out, when we take our arm all the way overhead, we should feel a beautiful stretch in our obliques on the left side. Marlon, you're way behind. Can you feel that? Yes. Good. Good. And Michelle, I can't see any of you guys over there. We don't have the monitor today, but 
If everyone feels that, I think we're doing it. If someone doesn't feel that, that means it's too easy for you. You want to go a little deeper. Inhale, let's come up. Straighten your right knee. Turn your right foot in. Exhale, wiggle your feet a little closer. Let's turn to face the front of the mat. That's OK, Josie, no problem. Now, we're going to take you through another intense back bend. It's called Thiryang Asan. Thiryang is reverse inversion. Sorry, Ron, I think you missed that part. I had to put the arms down. But it's okay, you still got to stretch doing that, right? I was We're, all <laughs> We're all going to turn to face the front left corner of our mat so that we're in profile to the cameras. Josiane is basically flying solo today, so Josiane, we really appreciate this. I'm sorry to make you run around so much. Bring your feet out six to eight inches apart, Play and keep your feet parallel to each other, so put your brakes on. Especially in this posture, it is an intense back bend, so you want to make sure your feet are not out. You might slip. Bring your toes in. Place your palms on your buttocks. Now, once your palms are on your buttocks, push your elbows back, open up your chest. <coughs> Inhale, lift your chin up, Thiryang Asan, reverse inversion. Once you pass midpoint, exhale, glide your hands down the back of your thighs and bend your knees if you need to. Now you want to make sure it doesn't matter how deep we go, it doesn't matter how high we are or how deep we are, you just want to make sure you keep the connection. Do not let go of your hand. Engage your low back muscles. Inhale, let's come up. Now, to just ease some of that tension going back, we're going to do an intense forward fold. Bring your legs out a little wider apart than you normally would, about four feet apart. For me, four feet. Ron, a little more. And you want to keep to the side of the mat. So we're going to do an intense forward fold. This is called Prasarita Padottanasana. Prasarita is widespread. Thank you, Roberta. Prasarita is widespread. Padottan is feet. Asana, of course, is posture. Put your brakes on. You definitely want to put your brakes on in this one. Now, those of us who may need a block, I'm not sure if you need a block, Michelle, but if you do, if you don't, I'm going to steal yours. <laughs> those of us who need a block to make the connection to the floor with the top of your head, feel free. Use a foam block, a towel, anything that will help you close that distance. Put your brakes on. Inhale. Bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together in any manner you've been trained to do. Here's what we're going to do, and before we do it, I'll direct you in a moment. We're going to exhale and fold from the hip with a nice straight back. Exhale and fold. Now the studio may, be, may have a little less space than your, uh, your yoga studio at work or at home, wherever you are. Now if you have a little extra room, you want to see if you can space yourself out so you have enough room for yourselves. Now I'm going to see if I can get my feet further out. Bring your palms between your feet. Keep your elbows close. Keep exhaling and dip. Now if the top of your crown, if the top of your head does not touch the floor today, that's when you want to use the foam block. You start off, and here's when I'm going to steal Michelle's block. You start off with your block at the lowest orientation. So you can start, just so you can make that connection. If you think that's not going to happen today, bring it to midpoint. And if you're really tired, bring it at the highest orientation. Whatever you do, you want to make that connection. Press with your palms. Wiggle your feet a little closer so you feel it's safe to come up, to safe to take your hands off of the floor. Clasp your palms together. And let's come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Let's all turn to face the front of the mat. And viewers at home, if you're stretching with us, make sure you're able to see us. So turn around to face the front of your TV or your computer. Heels are together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest. Once again, we're going to stagger ourselves. You know, Ron, you're very tall. Come forward a little bit, Ron, if you want to see. You're, you're fine where you are. Don't get off the mat. <coughs> Elbows are raised. Now we're going to take you through a very slow undulating motion, a kind of a swaying to the right and to the left. Ardha Chandra. Ardha is half. Chandra is moon. Literally, we look like crescent moons. Inhale, take your arms 
all the way overhead. Once your arms are up, wiggle your biceps behind your ears, tilt your pelvis forward just a little bit. Exhale, dip to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, and bring your arms in front of your chest, palms facing down. Now when we tilted over, when we tipped over to the right and to the left, we should have felt a nice stretch of the obliques. Did you feel that too, Michelle? Did everyone feel that? If someone doesn't feel that stretch, Lucy and Ron too, if you don't feel that, that means it's too easy for you. Then you want to go a little deeper. So palms in front of the chair, hands in front of the chest, palms facing down, elbows are raised. Keep the insides of your feet parallel to each other. Even though this is not a balanced posture, you still want to keep your feet parallel so you get the maximum out of your stretch. What we're going to do in this case, I may need to come further forward. I don't want to hit uh, Lucy or, or Michelle. We're going to exhale, swing our right arm all the way out, inhale back to the front, exhale to the left, and then back to the front. The first time we do that, keep your hips where they are. The second round, take your hips with you. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back to the center. This time, we're going to take our hips with us. But even though we're doing this the second time, just to be able to feel the difference, you want to make sure your feet stay with you, where they are. You don't want to take your feet with you. Don't lift your heels. Keep your feet where they are. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale to the left. Sorry. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale and relax. We're going to take, I think we are doing very well for time today. We probably could sneak in another five to six postures. We're going to take you through a tree posture, and I think, Michelle, this might be your favorite. You did that amazingly well the last time as well. So we're counting on you, Michelle. <laughs> now, viewers at home, if you've never done a balanced posture, or if this posture is not familiar to you, remember, in all balanced postures, look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. You don't want to look at people. You don't want to look at anything that moves. The further ahead you look, the easier it is to hold your balance. The closer you get, the more intense is your balance posture. And it might be a little harder. But if you're familiar with it, as Michelle might be able to do that, feel free. And once you get really close, you can close your eyes. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Place your right hand on your right hip. Raise your left heel and turn the left knee out to the side. Inhale. Hold on. Lift your left ankle. Hold on to the left ankle with your left hand. Attach the sole of your left foot to the inside of your upper right thigh. Now you don't have to go that high. You still get a wonderful stretch and a knee bender if you just keep your feet, your, the sole of the left foot, maybe at your calf or at your ankle. You want to avoid the knee because you don't want your patella, your kneecap, to move. So you want to, if you can get up all the way, let's do that. And then once you're ready, place your palms in front of your chest and keep your elbows up. If you're ready to move from there, let's inhale. Take our arms. If you come out of a posture, get right back in. Inhale. Take your arms all the way up. Let's not give up on ourselves. You want to get right back in. We all lose our balance sometimes. It's perfectly OK. Now, if you're ready to go further, watch Michelle or do what she's probably doing. Close your eyes. I'm not ready to close my eyes today. I'm just going to get a little closer. I'm going to try and look at the mic. Exhale. Release. Bring your arms down. And very gently release the left foot. Let's switch to the other leg. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Place your left hand on your left hip. Good job, Ron. That's what you need to do. Move. If you have any props at home, if you feel balance might be an issue today, Use whatever props you already have. Lift your right heel, and then turn the right knee out to the side. Inhale, lift your right foot up. Hold on to the right ankle with the right hand. Attach the sole of your right foot to the inside of your upper left thigh. I got that, Jason. Three, thank you. Inside of your upper left thigh. Once you're ready, place your palms in front of your chest. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead. Vrikshas, and Vriksh is tree. It's not easy being a tree. I thought it was so simple. 
exhale and release very gently lower your right foot and let's switch let's do we have about three minutes maybe we'll do about three or four postures we may not get in as many as I thought transfer your weight to the right leg this time keep keep your left foot where it is we're not ready to go just raise your left heel inhale take your arms all the way overhead Clasp your palms together in any manner you've been trained. You could cross them over, have your index fingers out, or you could just keep your palms flat. I'm going to cross my fingers over. It helps me get a nice grip. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your left leg all the way back. Flex your left foot. Exhale and dip. Tula Danda, Tula Danda, balancing scales. Inhale, let's come up. And then let's lift the other leg. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Exhale and dip. This time you may want to look at a point that doesn't move. That's a little closer to you. Inhale. Let's come up. And let's see if we can take our right foot forward all the way. Place your left hand on your left hip. Hold on to your right big toe. Again, look at a point that doesn't move. Inhale, extend your right leg all the way out, Uttita Pada, raised foot. And if some of you may be ready, you may want to take your right foot to the side. I'm not ready yet. I'm not going to attempt that. I might lose balance. Exhale and release. Let's switch legs. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Right hand is on the right hip. Lift your left heel off the floor. Lift your left foot, hold on to the left big toe. Inhale, extend your left leg out. Uttita Pada, raised foot. And like Marlon and uh, I think all three of you, Marlon, Michelle and Lucy, all of you are getting your left foot out, good. Inhale and release. We're gonna do, we're gonna close with the Nataraj Asan. Before we close, I think we might be having the titles coming up in just a moment, but before we close, I'd like to thank Josie and Hurd, our director, Roberto Espinel, our facilitator for today. The amazing lights and sounds are courtesy Roberto. And on behalf of Ron Thomas, Lucy Spain, Michelle Lorelli, and Marlon Hayward, this is Banu Suresh signing off, and you are watching Yoga Express. Transfer your weight to the right leg. We'll, we might close with the dancer's pose. Right hand goes on the right hip. Oh, well, we're closed. <laughs> That's why no, we said thank you, so that was important. So we are, <laughs> how does it feel? Feels good, huh? Uh, <laughs> Don't say anything yet. Tell me after half an hour, you'll feel great. Hi, Indra. Hi. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six more standing. We'll proceed to seated, so we'll do one, two. Yes, yeah, seated. I don't think seated will go as fast, but prawn and supine will move really fast. Okay, let me change the episode. Thanks, guys. Hey, get something to eat, okay? You can eat. We're not doing too many poor